Welcome to NTR Nightly. I am Janelle Norville. This edition Stop Stories. St. Lucians are assured that the prolonged use of masks is not hazardous to their health. Young entrepreneurs to benefit from critical support from experts in Lucia. And Reading Month closes a successful chapter. St. Lucia on Monday, June 15, 2020, moved into a new phase as the economy and country reopens. The curfew is now imposed from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. daily. Also, some social activities, including parties, picnics and receptions, are allowed with the established physical distancing and public health protocols. The relaxed position comes as the island continues to record negative test results. On the weekend, 44 negative test results were received, taking the number of COVID-19 tests conducted to date to 1,356. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George, however, cautions that the risk of new positive cases remain as the country opens. The Ministry of Health and Wellness alerts the public that as we open up the sectors, the risk of transmission increases. We can reduce this by ensuring the public health and social measures are maintained. We also anticipate new cases. However, if we all comply by the guidelines and maintain them, the possibility for transmission is minimized. One of the recommendations included the use of a face mask or scarf when going to public places such as the supermarkets. The face mask or scarf may be used for source control by reducing potential exposure risk from infected persons during the pre-symptomatic period. The mask is needed for use when someone is less than six feet from others, as in the supermarket and other stores, and in such situations. The CMO says the prolonged use of masks does not cause carbon dioxide intoxication nor oxygen deficiency. Face masks should not be used in the following situations, that is, driving a car, especially if you are alone or if immediate family, riding a bicycle or motorcycle, walking on the street when alone with no one near, during exercise or gym or running, with family members or group of friends when seated at a restaurant. Also, students who are seated six feet apart can remove the mask during class time. Wearing a face mask is complimentary. It does not replace the recommended preventative measures. So as usual, we ask that everyone continues to sanitize their hands by either using hand washing or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced the corporate world to re-engineer how it conducts business. eco Caribs Chief Executive Officer Dinel Florius, who appeared on NTN's COVID-19 Roadmap to Recovery, Youth Economic Empowerment, indicated that while his company had anticipated and prepared for an economic crash, the lack of financing remains a major hurdle in the survival of a business. We actually raised funding, funding round. So raising funding in the region is really, really hard, mm -hmm. very extremely difficult. And you can go through incubators, you can go through accelerators. We've done all of this. Incubators and accelerators usually give you grants which are assigned to a certain task of for development in your business. Now, you'll still need a lot more cash to really get to the top of where you need to be to really get your product or service out there. Depends on the business that you have. I mean, I happen to choose one of the most difficult businesses in the world, um, which is energy. Floris explained that a partnership with a strategic investor provided not only cash, but resources and expert and technical support. Export St. Lucia's Chief Executive Officer, Sunita Danielle, recognizing that access to financing for up-and-coming businesses can be challenging, informed that the agency has been exploring initiatives in that regard. That's one of the things that we have been really advocating for, is for a grant funding facility to be placed within Export St. Lucia for exactly that purpose. In the meantime, what we are doing is to really build those relationships with the St. Lucia Development Bank and with other commercial banks. Um, because one of the things we've realized is that for youth entrepreneurs, their biggest issue 
really is financing. It really is an issue yeah. um, in terms of getting any initial, like Dinell said, a lot of them have to use their savings and that can only take them as far as possible. But then afterwards, they really need that initial injection. And what has been happening is that a lot of um, young entrepreneurs really use direct equity funding, which is not really the best for young entrepreneurs. Export St. Lucia's CEO also highlighted efforts to ensure that not only do entrepreneurs have access to financing, but that they are able to honor their loans. The St. Lucia Development Bank, um, Export St. Lucia, recently signed an MOU with them where we'd be sending young persons to get that kind of concessionary funding from St. Lucia Development Bank. But one of the conversations we've been having with them and with our commercial partners is to change the way in which young persons pay back their loans, for example. Um, it should not be a schedule fixed repayment. That's, these businesses really can't operate like that. What it should really be is something based on the revenues that they make, on the cycle of how their revenues come in. For example, we have a lot of small, um, Export Senator has a large clientele of small enterprises based on agriculture. And there is only the harvesting period has to come in the planting period, then they harvest. During that time, it's not fixed on a monthly, every 20th day of the month. That's not happening. They're not getting revenues at that time, particularly when they're just beginning the businesses. And so that's a discussion we're having that you kind of amend the terms of repayment for those young startups. That was Export St. Lucia's Chief Executive Officer, Sunita Daniel. Meantime, the social and economic repercussions of youth unemployment in St. Lucia continues to be a major concern. To aid in the battle against unemployment, the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College will be adopting a new program centered around entrepreneurship, as well as facilitating access to universities to encourage entrepreneurialism among young people. Principal of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Dr. Keith Nurse, appearing on the COVID-19 Road to Recovery panel series, explained that youth economic empowerment is key in creating a prosperous and sustainable economy. This happens both in training institutions like the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. Uh, we can do more of that. In fact, if you look at our new programming, it is trending more towards an entrepreneurial approach to training and, and human resource development. Uh, so that's why we have more things like incubators, accelerators, uh, internships embedded in the new programming. Um, so you can change that, but you then need to have a framework where once people graduate from the tertiary institution, so where do they go? Dr. Nurse added that a wider entrepreneurial culture is needed in order to increase opportunities available to the youth. What we need to do is create a framework by which people can find financing. But it's not just financing. You need business coaching to work mm -hmm. in tandem with this um, funding and financing framework. And, and as well, you need to create a framework by which um, trade facilitation and, and market access uh, is improved by giving these firms a leg up in new markets. Uh, both abroad as well as at home. Uh, so uh, we cannot deny that the, even though our markets are small, we do need to ensure that we can increase our uh, local value-added uh, contribution. During St. Lucia's May Reading Month, educators saw an increase in reading amongst early grade students. Teachers and students across the island were engaged in the creation of over 300 reading activity videos and photos, including story time reading, reading comprehension competitions, reading dance videos and expositions throughout the month. Curriculum Officer for English Language at Camdu speaks on the success. Reading Month 2020 um, was celebrated under the theme Readers as Independent Learners and Critical Thinkers. Let's play a game, send me screen. I am, I am queen, you are my knights. How can I get my dinner without running around in the sun? He thought. I would say it impacted positively. I think this was a wonderful opportunity for Reading Month, for reading and its associated activities to really be where we want it to be, which is at the home. 
The importance of reading is completely undeniable. It helps to expand your mind, keeping it healthy and sharp. Reading allows for creative thinking and exposes you to new vocabulary, new people, new things, new places, new ideas. The more you read, the more knowledgeable you become. Now, boys and girls, what are your thoughts about reading? This is my favorite storybook. I love to read. Reading is fun. It helps develop language skills. Reading is fun. Reading is awesome. Reading is magical. It makes me go, grow, and glow. Reading is the key to successful life. Reading helps me to learn. Reading, reading helps me to understand, speak, and write better. I think it was very successful. We have lost count of the number of videos that we've seen of young children reading. And really, I think, I don't know if teachers will agree, but really reading with a comfort level and a confidence that we don't normally see in the classroom setting. The Ministry of Health and Wellness ensures preparedness for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season despite the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. More in this report from Fernel Neptune. As part of this year's hurricane preparedness efforts, heads of departments and representatives in the Ministry of Health convened a meeting aimed at discussing the emergency response plans for the hurricane season. The hurricane season commenced on June 1st and will continue until November 30th, 2020. Health Disaster Coordinator Dr. Glensford Joseph spoke on the objective of the meeting. Participants had the opportunity to review, revise and update their disaster plans with a multi-hazard approach while being reminded of the COVID-19 pandemic. It is important that the Department of Health and Wellness be prepared at all times and at all levels for the management of emergencies and disasters. Dr. Joseph also alerted St. Lucians to always be in a state of readiness and ensure they have a family emergency plan and an emergency kit. The ministry encourages persons to evaluate their family preparedness plan to ensure that persons who have certain medical conditions with need for long-term treatment to ensure that they have at least one month supply of their medication. It is important for family members to store their medication and medical records in waterproof containers. In addition, it is important while you prepare your emergency response bag to have in it a first aid kit, also to have hand sanitizers, face covers and mask as it relates to this COVID-19 pandemic. The hurricane season is anticipated to be busy with approximately 13 to 19 main storms, with 6 to 9 likely becoming hurricanes and 3 to 6 becoming major hurricanes. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fidel Neptune. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. COVID-19 is a new pandemic disease as declared by the World Health Organization. It is transmitted directly by respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes or indirectly through rubbing the face with contaminated hands. There is still no specific treatment or vaccine against COVID-19 and as such, the farming community should adhere to some special recommendations. Ensure that farm clothing and gear is clean. Wash hands thoroughly before harvesting crops. Use face masks and head ties whilst harvesting, cleaning and packaging crops. 
Use all safety precautions when transporting crops to the markets and depots, such as handling crates and crops with only clean hands and covering sneezes and coughs with a tissue or the inner arm to ensure body fluids or droplets don't get on produce and washing hands or using hand sanitizer after using the tissue. More than ever before, your important role as gatekeepers of St. Lucia's nutritional health and food security should be taken seriously. When you exercise these precautions, you not only safeguard your health, but also continue to allow all St. Lucians access to freshly grown fruits, vegetables, and other local crops. Remember, it is our responsibility to ensure our nation eats fresh, St. Lucia's best. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Novel, a quayol. Monsieur Tan Janel, Monsieur Madame, Department of Kidding Responsibility, for information and government at the CGIS and Television National PIA NTN, Capuzato Novel, a quayol, Presato, Primus Hutchinson. Minister de Santé, Jacques Cossidre Sauyama, pour renforcer yon morceau de législation qui a adressé la santé publique PIA. Et pour raison cela, la journée consultation et puis plusieurs secteurs en société a, et l'autre grec en préparation pour finaliser le document. Du une discussion à ce NTN, chef officier de santé et l'environnement, Park Ragnanan, explique qu'il était nécessaire pour renforcer le morceau de législation qui était déjà en place plusieurs années passées. Si le Ragnanan, pour un peu le temps présent, les membres publics qui ont conduit cette opération qui s'est en danger pour la santé de l'autre monde. Il servait, pour exemple, de manière à ce que l'auto pour la place résident. Ragnanan fait comprendre que l'action est pour protéger les publics là et aussi ces gens qui ont engagé dans ces activités. Il servait, pour exemple, les gens qui ont aspiré à l'auto, tout va payer, qui ont aspiré à l'auto, et les gens qui ont aspiré à Il a ajouté que, bien souvent, il n'y a pas assez d'équipement de protection pour faciliter le travail ça là, ça ne sort. So, c'est ça euh, Ahmad Man a fait. Quand nous avons dit, en chaque fois que nous avons parlé, c'est pas une loi plus passé 40 ans qui passé. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Et nous avons un développement qui a continué à faire en cette ici. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Et nous tous nous avons travaillé de manière pour nous servir avec un autre. Si ce n'est pas ça, nous avons un problème et nous avons un problème en place côté de nous avons l'audience. On a commencé à barbier, on a juste les gros miens que l'on a l'autre. Parce que vous avez affecté moi, vous n'avez pas fait rien pour, 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 pour faire moi vivre plus confortable. Vous avez juste tourné l'ennemi pour l'on a l'autre. Vous avez fait ça. Les cultivateurs et les femmes à PIA, j'ai parlé de grandes initiatives qui, le Premier ministre de l'ICI, on va aller dans le chasse, pour pour soin de PIA qui est plus nébrisé en réponse pour la situation de maladie de Corona, côté plusieurs sectrices, pour les travailleurs. Le Premier ministre Chasse, a commencé un projet de boîte bon manger pour faire tout ce monde là à vrai, au lieu de cette Le Premier ministre Chasse, a déjà parlé de ça récemment, côté de l'initiative de qui qui a apporté bon bénéfice pour tout, ni pharma, c'est la famille et le gouvernement. Il y a aussi pharma qui participe à un programme là, c'est El Hippolyte. Selon M. Hippolyte, il croit que c'est une très bonne initiative. Hippolyte est très available pour le marketing board en haut de 100 000 livres de bananes. Je crois que c'est une bonne initiative. Je crois qu'il faut continuer. Il ne peut pas être pour un jour parce que les femmes produit tous les jours. Et ça a été pour les femmes qui ont été pour ça produit plus. Je crois que le programme est une bonne initiative pour continuer parce que. Si le marketing board s'est consolidé, il y a des marchés qui toutes les femmes et qui ont même qui vendent pour le public, qui vendent par les hôtels et tout partout. Ils ont juste exporté en la région. Si le marketing board s'est fait ça, parce qu'il y a un bon marché en région. Et pour les expliquer que les cultivateurs, ça c'est les femmes à payer, qui ont essayé de trouver les produits n'importe quoi qui est possible. Alors, plus l'occasion de trouver, c'est plus mais 
pour libérer l'économie. C'est le si. Moi-même, je vends avec ma fille, je vends avec le local market, je vends tout partout. Mais si je ne je ne vends plus, je ne vends pas de plus. Donc, je vais encourager l'initiative. Je vais vous remercier de vous qui a formé le projet Bouet Bon Manger. C'est vive terre, figue verte, banane, zé, poisson et polo. Même le cabinet de ministre a pris une décision pour placer un changement en protocole pour adresser la situation de la en pays. Ça veut dire l'opération qui a gouverné, la action qui a place, j'ai trouvé réduit et ça a facilité plus de temps pour mon organiser des activités sociales. En bas, loi de direction pour adresser la maladie corona commencé lundi le 15 en mois de juin. C'est une édite pour que le commence à sortir 9 heures soir pour minuit à présent pour 5 heures du matin chaque jour. En bas, Sélection neuf sala. Et quand est possible pour yon, yon personne, eh bien, les membres publics, tchèn, eh bien, assister à l'activité sociale, ça veut dire yon festin, cérémonie si mariage, yon réception, euh, tchèbe yon grand festin de manger, mais tout ça ne pour suivre le protocole qui j'ai établi pour rester 6 pieds de distance. Alors, yon a l'autre avec WEG, l'autre avec diverses autres WEG de santé publique. Mais l'autre grande activité sociale, côté plusieurs personnes s'assemblent, affaires sportives, avec l'autre activité de sport, côté, y en a fait contact et puis y en a y en a l'autre qui est resté en bas restriction toujours. Y en a une qui n'y a licence, qui a un ordre pour vendre boisson alcool, ça vend en bas loi pour vendre homme. C'est vraiment ça là, car suivre commitment gouvernement cette lecie pour réviser et faire cet assessment des situations, à effort pour vivre ouvert petit à petit aux patients. Un pays c'est ici. Et c'est comme ça, nous retrouvons votre nouvelle là. Je vous remercie autant pour vous regarder. Je vous remercie une invitation pour vous remercie 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 pour